briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2013, the National Mining Association, Nuclear Energy Institute, and Northwest Mining Association challenged the constitutionality of a large-scale withdrawal of mining land in northern Arizona by the Secretary of the Department of Interior. The plaintiff's contention stemmed from the Secretary's reliance on a legislative veto provision embedded in the Federal Land Policy Management Act, FLPMA. This provision essentially allowed Congress to cancel the withdrawal, a power the challengers believed to be unconstitutional. The critical case, Yunt v. Salazar, was heard and adjudicated in the United States District Court for the District of Arizona, and it centered on an intriguing legislative question. If a part of a law is deemed unconstitutional, can the rest of the law still stand? Moreover, can a court remove the problematic part while still preserving the law's intention and enforcement? The catalyst for this legal standoff emerged in 2009, when the secretary published a notice intending to withdraw over a million acres of land in northern Arizona from mining for up to two decades. The challenging parties claimed that such a withdrawal, anchored in a contentious veto provision of the FLPMA, was unlawful. However, the district court rejected the company's arguments, ruling the legislative veto provision as unconstitutional yet separable from the rest of the FLPMA. Instead of torpedoing the entire statute, the court decided only to invalidate specific lines within Section 204, C. 1, that referred to Congress's power to disapprove concurrently. The court held that the FLPMA still provided alternatives for checking executive authority such as the reporting requirements that mandated the secretary to consider environmental and economic impacts, consult with local governments and affected individuals, and hold public hearings. Therefore, the remainder of the FLPMA was unaffected, rebuffing the plaintiff's motions for partial summary judgment. The court's decision underscored the principle that a singular unconstitutional provision does not necessarily nullify an entire legislative act. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.